Okay, nobody asked for it. I understand. <laughs> Today we're watching the vending machine anime. Uh, what's it exactly called? Let me say the exact title word for word. Reborn as a vending machine, I now wander the dungeon. Uh, so, you know, I had nothing on my schedule for today, uh, so I was trying to decide what I was going to put on there today, and, uh, you know what? For this week, I'm just gonna put the first episode of this, the Vending Machine Show, I, which I will be referring to as the Vending Machine Show. Um, I have no idea what it's gonna be like, really, but, you know, it's got a ridiculous enough premise that, like, you know, screw it, let's do it. Um, so... That doesn't necessarily mean I'm doing this as a series, just if you do want to see a series of this, of reactions to this show, I guess let me know in the comments, and if people actually want it, then I would do a series probably. Um, but otherwise, you know, it might just be a one-off video. But I gotta check it out. We gotta see, you know? We gotta see if, uh, if there's anything special going on here, or like what they're gonna do with it, or just at least see the premise. I'm just at the very least curious about the premise. So, um, I don't know much about the show except for the fact that I heard of it, like, you know, maybe like a year ago, um, in, with like what the light novel, people talking about that, I think it was a light novel, um, people talking about that in, and just saying how, you know, oh, it's a vending machine isekai, like, it's such a ridiculous concept, but hey, it's good enough to get people in, I think, because people are just so curious about like, okay, this dude's... I imagine it's a dude reading re reincarnated as a vending machine, but I really don't know. So, uh, all, yeah, all I know is that, and I've seen kind of like the poster, which is like a girl with the vending machine on her back, I think. Uh, other than that, I don't really know. So we're going to jump into this, but please make sure to support the video if you can. Uh, subscribe to the channel, because I, I do a lot of anime reactions and, and just reactions to media in general on this channel, so it's absolutely worth going and checking out all my other stuff. And my Patreon account has full-length, early access, exclusive videos. It's got the works. It's got so much stuff over there. You can also request a reaction. Um, if you join the VIP tier, you can request a reaction from me. So if there's like a show that you wanted me to do episode one of or whatever, go to my uh, Patreon account and, and, and do that. Anyway. We're jumping into this, so uh, here we go. Episode one of Reborn as a Vending Machine. I now wander the dungeon or whatever it's called. Here we go. Oh, we're starting. Just he's already been Isekai, I imagine. Did he get hit by a truck? Oh, did he get hit by a vending machine? Oh no, he went to wait. Okay. <laughs> So the vending machine came off and he did it at the same time. But yeah, he's completely paralyzed. Oh my god. Okay, so far this show is exactly what I thought it would be. Oh, he's like happy to be a vending machine? <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> Surely someone's just gonna break his glass open and take the shit. So he won't even be able to communicate with the other characters in this show? これが今売っている商品、2種類だけか。オッケー。種類を変更する場合はポイントを消費してください。商品を変えられるのか本当って。ポイントを消費することにより商品の価格変更。ああ。インテレスティング。それをいかにレベルアップさせるかによって商品の
Okay. Hello, frog. Do you want a drink? Is he gonna try to break him open? Yeah, here we go. Alright. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, I thought he might just be invincible, but he's not. Shit! Oh no, he's calling his friends? Shit! <laughs> oh my god, can you turn the volume up or something? So someone hears you? Oh. Barrier? Okay, sounds useful. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's good. How many points do you have left? 311. Oh my god. Oh, is this a girl from the poster? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> do they have regular money in this universe as well? Like, it transfers money to points. Has he got any food in there right now? Or is it all drinks? So transform one of them to food? Oh. Okay. Aww. Oh, uh. Yeah, he's doing it. He got a sale. Nice. Mm. Oh, she loves it. So does she just pick him up and take him everywhere from now on? Just because? Damn, I thought she had barely any money. She spent so much. Okay, that's something. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Who's she talking to? Okay, this time she's actually talking to the vending machine. Nice. So he can kind of communicate a little bit. Lamis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aww, that's cute. Cool. Oh my god. She's strong. A little? What are you gonna do? Ramen or something? Whoa, chip club? Oh, it's like, uh... Like Pringles, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pringles are kind of addictive. With a village, you might get a lot of people buying shit from you. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> 
Nice. Well, you're not going to die soon. You're actually making some sales. Damn! That's awesome. Yeah, you're already booming. I thought it would take ages for him to get to this point. <laughs> oh my god! She just lifted her leg and kicked him in the head. Oh! Oh! Okay, she misses a lot. <laughs> so she's very strong, but not very accurate. <laughs> あ。二度とこの集落で生活できないように、気を広めてやっ。地上に戻ってヒュールミに合わせるとして、戦争人のお金はどうするの?お。ライト。戦争人。そや、イツアテレポーテーションサークル。ユーヘフトユーヘフト
and um, and then he's a maybe able to communicate with uh, with her. And if that was the case, I think that would be very cute because Lamus is already, already very cute and already has like quite a connection with him. So like the fact that they have a connection there makes me really want to see them like talk properly with one another. Um, I think it would be that would be very sweet and that actually like I think that alone makes me want to keep watching the show to see if they get to the point where they can talk with one another um, like properly just just straight up speak with one another because that's a really cute idea like it's almost like they have a language barrier right now uh, but they both like you know it's yeah it, it's it's basically I, I imagine this is like if you went to another country and you met someone who was very sweet and cool and amazing um, but neither of you spoke each other's language, and so you're just communicating by looking at each other, by smiling, pointing, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then one day you're able to actually talk to each other. I imagine that would be an incredible feeling. <laughs> so I want to see that come through in this series. Um, but, uh, but I mean, I just thought it was consistently, uh, cute and solid and the world was like simple. But it also seemed like there was something interesting going on, you know? Like, they called it a dungeon, that they're inside of a dungeon or whatever, even though they're, they're, it looks like they're outside. So, um... And also, I like just the simple thing of, like, well, the rule is, you know, if an adventurer finds something, it's, like, they own it. Um, so, like, that makes me think that there's, like, a rule system to this world. Um, and we could have some fun stuff stepping off of that as well. But overall, I mean, there's not that much in depth to talk about, but I had a good time. And isn't that all that matters in the end? So if you also had a good time and you want to watch me do more, hell, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, and maybe we'd do more if people wanted more. So thanks for watching the first episode of, uh, now reborn as a vending machine. I wander the dungeon or whatever. Um, so thank you for joining me for that. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.